Better Biev, um, and they're talking about Bivol. Andre, because I'd love to see Canelo better be if I love that Styles matchup. But if you They'll want to talk about the better be if. right, of course. But if you're talking about the two best 175 pounders in the world, Styles contrast, the whole thing, undefeated fighters, better be if and Bivol, Dre. This is the light heavyweight fight. Your thoughts? I like it. Um, obviously, me and you have covered Bivol, you know, for for several years on, at HBO. Um, I went and interviewed him personally, watched him train. Very skillful guy. He may be a little bit undersized for the weight class, the 175-pound the division, but he's skillful. And, you know, he gets hit sometimes, and you don't want to get hit by a guy like Better Biev, but he has the ability and he has the potential and the mindset, I believe, to beat a guy like Better Biev. And you know b going to box. That's going to be his game plan. And I think he can box and outbox Better Biev. And I'm not normally a guy who leans toward the puncher. I'm a guy who wants a fighter to have multiple things he can fall back on in case that punch doesn't bail him out. But Better Biev is a little bit different, Max. I've sat and watched this guy. I've called his fights. I've studied him. He's different. This dude, he, he throws his body into every punch. Like, he's, he's physically a hard man. He's strong. But he hits extremely hard, and he doesn't even have to hit you clean. He can graze you, and you can have problems. But he's also an underrated boxer. This guy's got over 300 amateur fights. He's come up in the, in the, in the Soviet system. Like, like, he's a lot better skillfully than what people give him credit for, and he's going to be a hard guy to beat. He's a beast. He is a beast. Kind of guy that makes you happy that you're retired, right, Dre? Not that you wouldn't well, you beat him, me. but I, who wants to go you, through that hell? You know me. I'm willing to do it. I've done it before. Yeah. Well, listen, well, that would be interesting, Andre Ward, better be Um yeah. Canelo, speaking of what would be interesting, real quick, Andre, they're talking about, you know, apparently the Murata fight fell through. Billy Joe Saunders or Caleb Smith, I prefer Caleb Smith because he'd be giving up size, reach. Caleb, to me, is an interesting fighter. Billy Joe Saunders is also a mobile southpaw, not the best kind of style for Canelo. Who would you like to see him fight next? I think, the, I think probably from a skill, a skill standpoint, I think, I think Billy Joe. Um, I think Billy Joe's been looking for a big shot for a long time. He's had some mishaps, some personal issues that have set him back. I would love for him to get that shot to see how Canelo faces a guy like Billy Joe Saunders. And you know, like I know, Max, Canelo Alvarez is very, very strategic and has been very, very strategic. And people don't talk about this, about his opponent selection. Canelo Alvarez mm -hmm. has a lot of names on his record, but not a lot of prime names. The couple prime names he, he fought, it either was a close fight or, in the case of Floyd Mayweather, he got beat. So I would love to see him against Billy Joe Sanders to see how he deals with a slick southpaw who won't be afraid of him. I also wish that Callum could get the shot, too, because he's been clamoring for a big shot. And, and kind of like Andre, nobody's really been listening. But I think Callum will get into a situation where he'll get overwhelmed, overwhelmed and ultimately get caught and potentially get knocked out. You're not wrong about Canelo, Andre, but that's how the boxing business works. Of course, you're looking, making business decisions. You're right it was close with Austin Trout. You're right it was close with Erez Landy Lara. But he fought those guys when a lot of guys in his position would not have fought those but guys. But it's like he we said with Demetrius Andre. Why is that okay? Why is that accepted for some? but then other people will, will, will get the bright light and will point out their record and will, will highlight those things. That's the question well, I have. Well, he fought those guys. In other words, he was in the driver's seat where he could have denied the opportunity to Austin Trout or Lara. If Canelo was back, if, if Canelo and And well, Canelo's the type of personality most likely to give Andre the shot. Even though he's the money man, he seems to me to be more the type of personality, yeah, I'll fight that guy. And you're like, are you crazy? Who would fight Erez Landy Lara back then? That wasn't a good idea. But he did it. He did it, but you saw how the fight went, though, right? Well, that's because very few that fight fighters could, that, who that ever fight lived. That could have went either way, and a lot of people thought Ares Landy, Landy Lara no won doubt. the fight. Very few fighters who've ever lived have truly taken on one primetime uh, um, opponent after another in their primes and had no close calls. Very few. You were one of the few, and that's why ultimately you were called the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Look forward to seeing you in Vegas, brother. Thanks for weighing in. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.